Hey guys, Kid Guru here today, and today I have an uh, application review for you guys. Uh, one that works for the iPod and iPod Touch. Uh, it is called Air Mouse. Now, what this is, it essentially turns your device into a mouse. Very useful for desktop computers, laptops, uh, media center, theater, PCs, whatever. I mean, instead of buying an actual, you know, mouse you can spend 50 bucks on, it's wireless and or wireless keyboard for your media center, you can just download this application that's like $3, I think, $3, $4, around there. Very cheap, and it turns this into a really cool uh, mouse and keyboard device. Now, it works better if you're close to the router, because it does use Wi-Fi, so I have my Wi-Fi turned on here. Um, and what this does is, so I'm going to go ahead and launch it. Like I said, it turns your thing into, a, uh, it turns your device into a uh, mouse and keyboard. So, as you see there, it connected, and I'm going to open up the settings tab, which is the little button up there. And if you see right I'm sorry, I accidentally opened up Windows Explorer. If you see right here, it shows my PC, and it shows the IP, the port, the sound, and the sleep. Now, that's my PC right there. And, if I back up here, um, you can see that it's connected to my router's IP, uh, so that may be like 192.168.100, or whatever you set it to on your computer. Um, but then you're going to want to download the software. The software is at mobileairmouse.com. Here you see that they have support for Mac, PC, and the iPhone, obviously. So you're going to want to download uh, the software as well for your computer. And then it will show up right here. It's going to show up in like a system tray, and you just want to open it. And it has the server information so that you just put your router IP in there. The air motion, which I was just messing with, you know, the pointer speed, acceleration, touch motion, and scrolling. So air motion is really useful for when you're like, if you have a huge screen or something, uh, you want it to move faster. And they also have the function keys, media keys, and the website. So once you uh, set it up, and I'll even tell you status and everything, sorry, I keep it going back and forth, but uh, the software will pretty much tell you everything. Now, I have my thing set up here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pan up here. I'm going to try and actually do it on this screen, because uh, this shows better. And if you see here, as I move my finger across, kind of works like a touchpad. I'm going to kind of move this back more and zoom out here. So if you can see my mouse right there, as I move this around, it moves the mouse around. And I can even uh, click right here, or you can click right here, left click. Right click, oh sorry, you can't see that. Left click, right click, left click, you can hear that sound. And you have a full on keyboard here, and again, if you download it for Win if you have a Windows PC, it has a Windows icon, if not. And it's really cool because it shows what you're typing, so I can say, like, right now I'm typing in nothing, but it says hi, and I totally messed up in the typing there. But um, you also have some other options, so you can go to the function keys, you can see that here. I'm going to go back to this. You have the little arrows and the home, enter, etc. And you have some things for your media, like iTunes, etc. You can go back to the regular keyboard. And also, if you have these functions for 1, 2, 3, 4, up there. And I believe they even have like a, so I'm going to switch here. So they have this right here for Firefox. Uh, if you want to go home, back, etc. And those are the function keys. And this is for like iTunes or anything like media wise to play music forward, mute, etc. And you can switch, which I just switched here. Now what this does, it turns your mouse to a thing where you can actually just go like this. So, oh, Actually, you have to hold. Sorry, you have to forgot. You have to like kind of hold both down. You have to hold uh, both clickers down. Or no. Do you have to move, hold both? Yeah, I think you have to hold one down. Alright, maybe not. Alright, there you go. So you have to hold the... It works best if you hold the middle down. So this middle button right here, I think you can't see it right here. Hold and move up, left, right. There you go. See, works really cool. It's just like a remote. And uh, obviously, you have your scrolling for pages, left, cl left click, right click, etc. And I just opened up something on accident. But it's a really, really cool application. It turns your thing into a uh, keyboard, wireless uh, mice, and it works really, really well instead of shelling out like 50 bucks for a new mouse and you know, however many more for a keyboard. Works really well, again, it's better if you're close to your router and the Wi-Fi signal. Works really well for home media uh, PCs, etc. Uses the built-in accelerometer, so that's what's really cool. So anyways, guys, hope you like this software. Check it out. Uh, I gave it a thumbs up, and I you know, totally think you should download it. Uh, even if you're not, you don't have a home media PC, this is really cool if you're just kind of lazy sometimes to, you know, if you're like laying in your bed or whatever and you don't want to get up and use your mouse and keyboard and you can just use this. Really cool stuff, guys. Check it out. Don't forget to check out the website, adriansetech.com, for more reviews and blog posts and exclusive content. Also, follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash kidguru. Thanks, guys, and don't forget to send all your feedback to adriansetech at gmail.com. Catch you next video.